All right. It is nice that the game is right here. It does take a very long time. <laughs> Guess I'm going to get another Shoshone game. That's amazing. Uh, it's a very, very strong Civ. Last time I got uh, counter trolled, I was really excited. I'm like, sweet Shoshone. And then I started with Tundra and uh, Snow. And that was pretty bad. But we'll see. We'll see. Perhaps I'll get a slightly better start this game. That looks like what I'd call a slightly better start. Um, I'm coastal with tons of unique luxury, uh, tons of luxury resources around, and um, some good spots here. Um, I need to have a look over here. I'm thinking this is going to be the tile I'm going to go to. Um, I'm just going to have a little bit of a look around here to see what I can see. Um, I have a fish over there. That tile looks even better to me now. I'm going to take the gold here. Um, I'm not on coast. Oh man, should I move away from the coast? This is Pangea. I could take this gold here too, it would be fairly nice. Still in range of this unique luxury, moves away from this one. Lose that, I lose uh, coastal trade routes, but um, I do gain river for that. I don't know, I think I'm going to stick coastal for now. So let's move there. Um, fairly nice start, if I can uh, do something with this. Settling on gold is really great, you get the gold, uh, you get the not only do you get the luxury gold, but you also get the gold per turn from that tile for the entirety that you're settled on it for. So that would be good. Um, Shoshone have a ridiculous um, special too. It should grab uh, a lot of nice squares. Um, and then I'll pick up a rune next turn. If I'm lucky, it'll be culture. Oh, I didn't check. I got so excited with Shoshone, there's probably friggin' uh... Okay, Babylon's in here, Scary Civ. Uh, Songhai is very good and very underrated. Uh, China is quite good, they're very dangerous war Civ. Siam, again, is another underrated Civ that does quite well if you know how to play them. And Iroquois are relatively shit. So, um, Babylon is one of the god tier Civs. This one, these three are probably decent Civs, with China having a slight advantage, and Shoshone is probably god tier as well. So, uh, good start, good Civ. Looks like the game's gonna go. Now we just have to hope Alakazam settles. Well, he already settled, so he's not going to lose his uh, settle at this game, so that's a plus. Um, I'll drop this expand, or ex this, excuse me, this settlement, and then I'll take the rune. Oh, I can pick two. Uh, another rune up here. I'm going to grab culture. Um, this is going to give me a big uh, culture, yeah. I am going to take culture to start with. Um, that will give me two turns away, and I'll be able to pick up uh, my first... Um, social policy, which will be a really quick thing towards getting uh, my free uh, monument. So that'll be good. Now grab pottery. Alright, let's move here. And there. That's fine. Um, as Shoshone, I'm going to probably pump out three Pathfinders. Uh, and uh, go from there. Uh, I'd prefer not to work elephants actually. Um, I'd prefer the one production over the two gold for now. The production seems a little more useful for me. And I should lock this down to grow to production. It's the same amount of growth per turn, but uh, a little bit better production. Um, I can grab uh, tradition now, so let's do that. And let's take this rune here. And I'm actually going to grab uh, the military upgrade. The population one's really good, but I don't really want to do it at one pop. I'd like to do it at two pop. So let's take um, the weapon upgrade. So I now have a composite bow to start with. If I can find a city state, I can demand tribute. So that's pretty lucky. Um, doesn't look like I have great uh, coastal resources. Just the one. It may have been a mistake to stay coastal, but we'll see how the rest of the map turns out. Um, there is an internal cooldown on the Shoshone ability. Like You cannot pick the same... Um, free upgrade over and over again. Um, I have the question asked, why is Coastal Trade Network better than non-coastal? Because you get two times everything from it. Um, two times the gold for coastal trade routes, uh, two times the food. Uh, yeah, I say that. Yes, it's six food versus, I think, three or four for the land-based caravans. So it's a better way to grow uh, overall and a better way to make money if you're doing trading. Um, the downside is you're vulnerable to things like frigates. Uh, I sound tired. I don't know why I sound tired. Probably because I haven't had a beer yet. So uh, I may fix that shortly. Alright, let's have a look around. 
Had a long week too. All right, so here's a city state. I should have quite an advantage for asking for tribute, nah, but of course I don't. I'm third in soldiers, despite having a composite bow. That really confuses me. Um, we'll see in a minute what I can do. I'm really surprised I can't get tribute out of that with the composite bow already. Really surprised. I will try again next turn. My global army score will probably be first next door, next turn, so that might make a difference. Um, had a long week too, but uh, I'm not sure that's relevant or not. And I'm going to produce uh, yet another Pathfinder after this. It's just too... The, the ability to pick your upgrades is just too strong. So I want to get those out early. Um, I should now have first an army, but I don't. Um, so someone else is producing army too. Uh, let's head north with this guy, I think. Um, lock my tile down. I want to continue growing, so I'll take the food off of the other quarry. I'll ask, see if I can ask for tribute. It's still not going to let me. Really surprising. And let's head over this way. Okay, more coast. <clears throat> Alright, third to manufacture goods, but not by a lot. Only one behind the, the top leader. Crop yield a little behind someone there. Um, not big deals yet. I mean, it's very early in the game. This is going to delay my shrine, which is going to delay my... I'll try for tribute again. No. Um, this is going to delay my shrine, which is going to delay uh, my religion. And they do not want to give me money. And I really want them to give me money. I wonder if it's something built into the Shoshone. Okay, so there's a Babylon scout. That's too bad. Uh, I really don't want a Babylon too close to me. A Babylon too close to me. Um, oops, no, don't do that. And we'll go from here. Hopefully this land will be a little bit of land down here. I don't like how close Babylon was. That scares me. It probably means I don't have a ton of land. And I want to expand coastally, which means I need land. Um, let's move up here. I'll take my free culture monument to rather. Okay, Babylon's ahead of me over here, which is really annoying. Um, let's move through Panama. And be done. I'm freaking first in soldiers now. People losing soldiers? Like, how does this work? Like, how is my soldiers bouncing around so much? And why can't I demand tribute with a composite bow here? Tribute mechanic is so stupid in this game. No one knows how. It, no one really knows how it works. Everyone knows it's based on army size, proximity, and um, that's about it. Your total army size and proximity, and the type of units you have near their borders, basically. But no one can tell you the specifics about it. And right now I'm first in army. It's really early in the game. Panama City has nothing, and I should be able to take that. I don't know why I can't. So let's move here. Let's move there before. Can I move there first too? Yes. Okay. So we're running out of land over here. Ah, that's too bad. Um. All right. Shrine after this. I can now demand tribute. No one understands what's changed. The same guys there. But now I can demand tribute. So that's good at least. Um. I wonder what Babylon has. Possible there's a rune there, so I want to move this guy first. And I want to scout west. Okay, there's some more land up there. I don't know how much yet, uh, but I want to get ahead of him. Okay, he's really close. I'm expecting he'll have science, uh, scientists in about two turns. Um, judging just on my pop and my actually one turn, because he's ahead in pop. So. He should have his great scientist coming out very, very soon. Maybe, oh, it's a little longer of a technology, so maybe up to two turns. But I want to stay close. There's a, chance, there's a chance that he won't pay attention to it and I can snipe it. And if I can kill that uh, great scientist right off the bat, it will really slow Babylon down. It should be nice. Um, I should actually come down this way. That's going to block me. Oh, that's annoying. I may declare war to move past him. We'll see, we'll see how the, the land is on this side. Okay, a little more land up here. I'm hoping for an ancient rune at the end. We'll see what happens. Um, one more pathfinder, and we'll start going for uh, religion. I don't think city states actually have gold in the sense that you mean lemons. I don't think there's ever a chance. There's ever a point where. Uh, I mean, that would be an interesting variable that might be there. I suppose it could be possible that city states have a set amount of gold and they can't give you gold when they don't have it. But I've never 
heard of that being a reality. Um, all right. This is going to be a nightmare to push later. I mean, look at this this mountain range. I need to be able to like get units there beforehand. Um, let's move in here. Okay, nice. One more ancient ruin in there. Um, I'm going to move to here. I just want sight of his city, get some idea of the layout. I do have horses, and they are grassland horses, which are my favorite horses. And actually, two sets of grassland horses, because I can grow off that tile as well as working production. Um, I did finish that. Let's go grab archery and move this guy out a little bit more. Let's see if I'm in range to ask for tribute, but I don't think I will be. Okay, another unique luxury down here. I need to see how much land I have here, because Babylon is very close. And I think I just... Oh, one more turn. That's so annoying. Okay, he just produced a worker. Man, that guy is... Ballsy. I'm going to wait here. As long as that scout doesn't move here, I'm going to wait one more turn, then take a pop rune, so that I'll go from um, 3 to 4 instead of 2 to 3. Uh, let's have a look here. Let's see if the land ends. Land looks like it ends. There might be a rune down there still, but I want to scout this side first. Okay. So I'm, I'm walled in, and I am, like, really walled in. Because this is, like, impassable. So I need to think about what I can do about that. I need to think about that relatively soon. Alright, I just grew. I'm going to grow again right now. So I'm up to four pop. And I'm going to work both the horses. So I'm at decent production and decent uh, growth right now. Uh, I will send this guy around the side. He's not going to be improving any of these tiles anyways. Like, this city is so well defended. Like, how do I even bring troops into that? Uh, it's frustrating. Let's move up here just in case there's an ancient room back here. There's not. I'll check down here. I have basically no land down here. I have a good expand, but just basically one, maybe two. Uh, there's no, nothing in there. Something over here. Um, starting location is weird. Uh, let's grab a granary. And granary, come on. So I'm going to lag out for the end of the turn. I'm going to miss an entire turn of production. And we lost the player, so I guess I don't lose that production. So turn 15, so when the reload is 